this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to do some hand tracing and in this case we're going to make it seem like the person in the photo has been hand traced and is more of a cartoon character than an actual photo of a person. So the way that we can do this is, uh, well, first of all, you need a photo with a person in there. That's a prerequisite there. And uh, also, uh, if you have something uh, of the photo that has a little bit more of a gritty feel, like a wall or some, you know, something that has some texture to it, like a tree bark or something, uh, where it is more predominant in the photo, then it works really well because of the way that we're going to be doing the... Uh, the cartoon illustration hand tracing of the person works really well with it being a little bit gritty. So uh, the, the first thing that we need to do is just isolate that person from the photo. So we can uh, duplicate the layer here and we're going to use an, uh, the extract tool to extract the person from the our copied layer so that there's only the person and we've gotten rid of all of the background. So the way to do this is go to filter and extract and in here, you've probably used this before in a few of our other tutorials. The way that you do this is with a brush size of an appropriate size, zooming in, of course. Um, you want to uh, select the, uh, just go around the edges of the person here so that you have a bit from uh, what you want to lose and a bit from what you want to keep. So uh, you just select around the person here. And when you get closer to smaller details like the hand, then you can just uh, use a smaller brush for those smaller details. And then just basically just go around selecting uh, the person all the way through. Once you're done making the selection, you just need to fill in what you want to keep. So there you are. And then just click OK. At first it doesn't seem like you did anything, but if you bring up your layers palette, what you can see if you unview the uh, background layer here is that you've managed to just select the person and extract everything else. So now we have a copy of that person on top of the photo. And now what we want to do is just add that illustration effect. So make sure that we have our layer here selected with just the person. Then we're going to go into Filter and Artistic and Poster Edges. And with Poster Edges, what we're looking to do here is have an effect where uh, it seems like the person is more of an illustration than anything else. The, the main way that we get this done is through posterization. Let me show you what this does here. The posterization, and let me just decrease here these details. Posterization uh, defines how much detail there is in the uh, in, in color. So right now it has the full transition in colors. And what you want to do is just reduce that so it seems more, like it's more animated. So you want to reduce it, but not too much to the point where there's too much detail being lost. In this case here, too much black. So in the case of our image here, we'll get rid of the majority of our black once we hit number two here. So that's probably what we want to go here for. Uh, so it has uh, very few details here, but you don't have a predominance of just things turning into black. And then with edge intensity, you can add how much uh, black you want to be added, how many strokes you want to be added to the, uh, to the image. And typically you want to go for something low, like a 2 or something like that. And then edge thickness, you want to add a bit of uh, some... Uh, gray gradation to to the edge thickness so it's not just a black on white type of thing so once you have that done so here we have everything on two for example for this image it works really well we're gonna click OK and now you can see that we have more of like a cartoon character in our image now and the final step to this is we want to add a um, a, a border around here um, to around the the person in the photo so that it seems like it's just really to, to distance themselves from the photo and make it seem like they are really just a cartoon character uh, in, in the photo. So the way that we do this with the stroke is that we first need to be able to apply stroke we need to um, have a smooth uh, selection of our image. In the case that in the way that extraction works it's not so smooth let me show you how stroke would look like. So the way that we have the stroke is that it would become very dotted if we were to use uh, it as it is because our selection is very uh, it has a lot of gradation in it and it's not very uniform although it works really well by itself once you use the stroke it doesn't work that well so a trick to do this is we add a new layer bring it down to the middle then we're gonna um, control and, and click on our uh, layer with with the uh, person so we have the selection there of the person then we're going to select any of our selection tools so just so we can get this to the to the refine edge command once we click on that, let me uh, zero everything out here for you to see what's going on. 
Um, I'm going to select here the last preview option so that we can see how our selection is going. We want to make this as smooth as possible. So the way that we do this uh, is we got to do two things. First of all, we need to smooth the selection so that there's more of a uh, not so uh, varied little details in the selection. And we also want to get rid of all the uh, the grays in the selection. So it's pretty much a white on black, very smooth straight line. So the way that we do this is we just have to add some contrast and some smoothness to our selection. So let's go ahead and add the contrast. And you can see that we just want to add it to the point where we're re removing most of the uh, the gray um, parts of their, our selection so that it's just basically black and white. But it's very crisp, so you just want to add some smoothness to it. There we are. So that uh, our selection is a little bit more... Uh, well-rounded. So you just get to a point where it doesn't have too many jaggedy edges. It doesn't have to be so far away. So something like this, like a 6, for example, would work really well. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we have our selection. So with our selection, we can fill this in with black. So this is Alt and Backspace, since black is my foreground color. We can deselect. And now we're going to go ahead and add our stroke to this layer and not to uh, the layer with our image there. So we're going to add um, it to this part here. Okay, so the way we do this is just go to the effects here and add the stroke. And with the stroke, you can see what we're doing here. What we want to do here is just add a stroke of color of black. And depending on the image, you might want to uh, select the size of three or make it, may, maybe put this uh, the position uh, on center and then change the size appropriately. Uh, whichever one works for you best, I tend to find that either a center of six or an outside of three for this image works particularly well. So we're going to stick around with this and click OK. So uh, basically there we are. We have our image here uh, where it seems like the person is more of a cartoon character looking inside here of our photo. So let me just show you the before and after here. So we have the before and we have the after. So there we are with our cartoon character. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.